Well, she plays Charleston Tucker on the NBC show State of Affairs. Please welcome the lovely Catherine Heigl. Hey, hey so nice to see you. Hi, guys. Have a seat, have a seat. Okay, this is lovely. Yeah, right, we're all cozy oh, right here hanging out. Open. Catherine, I know you're happily married. You have a, you have a couple of children. Yes. Is, 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 is that it? Would you like any more? You know, I probably about, what's, we're in January. So I would say September through December, I was like desperate. That clock was ticking. I was like, I, mu I must have a baby. I want a baby. And then I went through Christmas with my children who had three weeks off of school. Oh. <laughs> and I had little to no help. And I found myself spending my entire Christmas vacation cleaning up after everybody, doing the dishes, making dinners, cleaning up after that. And I was like, a lot you of might work. give it a minute. Do you feel the secret to your um, successful marriage is that you guys live away from Hollywood? I think that's a part of it, though I also just think over the years it's become, I was so incredibly just drawn to and attracted to this man from the get-go, I mean from the moment I met him. Um, Which is very important, by the it's way. It's very important. People might think, you know what I'm saying, it's very no, important. No, chemistry is Very huge. important. Yeah. Yeah. And then as, you know, the years go, we've been together 10 years now, married seven, and you just great. find this groove with each other. I mean, he is literally my one of my favorite people in the world to hang out See, with. He's awesome. just, he's funny, he's charming, he's down to earth, he's decent and got a really big yeah. heart. And I think I can never see myself you know, falling out of love with him. I just think oh, he's great. kind of the best guy I've ever met. So. Oh, that's awesome. That's inspiring to hear. Other than you, hear. of course. Ah, <laughs> thank you. No, it's inspiring to hear, you know. Cause... Wait a minute. What about, um, were you sad to hear the news about your buddy Patrick Dempsey? I was really sad to hear that. I knew them both, and um, both really great people, and I think it's just, it's always its always hard to have to go through something like that so publicly. It's, it's, exactly. It's kind of the, the downside of all the greatness that mm -hmm. this is. Yeah. Now, for those who, who may not be familiar with State of Affairs, uh, you have a really cool character named Charlie, but yes. uh, tell us a little bit about uh, her. I play uh, a CIA analyst who briefs the president every day on the essentially 10 most critical threats facing the nation. And that is a true job. So it's an important job. It's a high-pressure job. Yeah. Charlie um, is very, very good at her job, but has, uh, you know, the, the drama comes from when she makes a mistake or she's wrong mm -hmm. about something or she leaves something out right. of the briefing. Just like real life. Yeah. yeah. Alfred Woodard. Yes. Who's great, plays, yes. plays the president. And she, coincidentally, happens to be uh, friendly or at least knows the real president. She does. So See, do you know if she's... connected. Yeah, she's connected <laughs> at the highest levels, yes. apparently. Do you know if they watch the show or not? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you I should her? ask her. You know, I'm probably too afraid to ask. What if they're like, no, we hate that show. <laughs> that would be terrible. 